shifting the narrative around finding your purpose, I think needs to be one of the core aspects. Yeah. Because what that entails is that there's more work to be done. When I hear finding my purpose, it's like, oh, well, there's another thing I need to add to everything that I'm already doing. And it's something outside of me and I have to figure it out. I have to do all these other things. And it's like, I have to do all this work and I'm already doing work. And it's just, I think that's the problem with the narrative around finding your purpose. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's important for us to remember that our purpose is already within us. This is not an external to an internal thing. And it's hard because in a society where most things are external to internal in terms of the way that we process and understand and learn about ourselves, it's only natural that we would want to think that our purpose is outside of ourselves and we have to find it. We have to grasp it. We have to, you know, go on this journey to experience something outside of ourselves to understand who we are. And unfortunately, that's just filling a void and a never ending void. And that's why we can't get fulfillment through that process. Now, you're not saying that there aren't things that are external that can help you understand Excellent. how to experience your purpose. Right. It's just that your purpose isn't outside of you. Correct. It, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate the clarification. A hundred percent. Um, I want to tell a, just a quick story. Of course. And uh, a, cu a couple years back, uh, more than a couple years back now, I guess. <laughs> I was going to uh, say. Quite a few years back. More than a couple let's, years let's call back. It like seven, eight years ago. Um, we went on a retreat with Swami Purna, and it was amazing. And uh, after the gathering, the first gathering, you know, the first questions came forward, and it was, you know, what do you have for me? What are some questions that I can answer for you? And the first question, someone raised their hand, and this woman said, how do I find my purpose? And just with this twinkle in his eye and this little, you know, cute smile and just, just oozing wisdom, you know, Swami Purna was like, how does a flower find its scent? It doesn't, it just is. Yeah. And that was my first, I mean, just the profound wisdom that it just felt like a slap in the face of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just, <laughs> you just oh got smacked, my. logic dropped. Yeah. And, and, I mean, the whole room went silent and it was just like, bam. It was so profound in its simplicity. It's right. Like a flower, the flower scent is the flower scent. It's not going outside of itself to be like, oh, I want to smell like a tulip and I'm a rose. It's like, no, it, just, it is what it is already. And so we get, we get caught in this cycle of, of this human doings. And what if we forget that we're human beings? And so our purpose is not something that we do or an action that we take. Our purpose stems from our being. It's a state of being. If we're like, for example, if we are currently anxious, then we bring that anxiousness into our actions and that's going to follow suit, right? But if we are intentional or purposeful in our state of being, then our actions take form in a state of intentional or purposeful or full of purpose. 